Okay, guys, I'm back. If I don't make no room on my iPad, man, I won't be able to uh, save my video for, uh, what you call that place? YouTube. So go ahead, everybody, come back in this Periscope. Everybody flood back into this one. And go ahead and start inviting people out to this Periscope. Share it on your Twitter. Share it on Facebook. Share it on Instagram. Share it wherever you can, be, wherever you can share it. I believe this, this topic that I'm going to discuss today is going to be very impactful to people. Hey, what's going on, Latanya? <clears throat> How you doing? That's good. Go ahead and get. Go ahead and start sharing, man. Let me know where you guys watching from. What city? What country? What state? What planet? Let me know where y'all watching from. Thank you so much. Emerge of life. I'm glad you're doing good, Latanya. Let me know where you guys watching. We got Atlanta in the building. Yo, from Detroit. What up, Detroit? Atlanta, South Carolina in the building. Cincy. Oh, Cincinnati. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> I really wish that I would have been a little bit more um, prepared for this because a lot more people was coming in at the time. It's cold in the D. I bet, man. I bet it's cold. I know it's cuffing season, man, so y'all stay holy, man. All right, everybody. Let's get right into it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Keep, 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 keep the hearts going, man. Let me know it's real. You from Maine? Hey, what's going on? Welcome. But basically, man, I want to talk about sexual purity, man. Uh, I want a lady from last uh, night's Periscope uh, was like, Josh, can you do something on sexual purity? I said, let me do it. And uh, as I was talking with God throughout the day, he told me to title it, How to Maintain Your Sexual Purity. And so let's get right into it. Um, people don't realize the importance of sex. Sex is an extremely powerful thing. Uh, it's a gift from God, first off. Sex is a gift from God. The thing is, is that the devil wants us to pervert a gift. <clears throat> The devil loves perversion. He wants us to interact with something as potent as sex in a, in a non-normal way. And many people are partaking in sex abnormally, not knowing they're causing a lot of harm to themselves. And so my heart for this periscope is to encourage people to maintain their sexual purity. Now, am I perfect? No. Are you perfect? No. And But the best thing for you to do in order to maintain sexual purity is to value your purity. Let's talk about valuing your purity and protecting it. <clears throat> a lot of people don't know my testimony. Now, I'm not perfect. But I'm a virgin today. And, you know, I'm 30, about to be 30 in December. Um, but my virginity wasn't kept only because, uh, you know, there was no opportunities or my virginity wasn't kept because, you know, uh, uh, there was no sex to get. I, it wasn't even about God, really. It was really about me understanding, like, yo, if I have sex with this girl and I have a baby by her, <clears throat> I'm 18 years in the hole. God forbid if I have a sex with this woman, all of a sudden now I become trap was STT for the rest of my life. So it was a it was a logical understanding about the importance of sex that kept me from having sex. And over time it was the the love for God that kept me. I think my early teenage years to twenty years it was more about my logical understanding of sex that kept me from being a sexually active. But um over past my twenties until now it's been God that's keeping me. Now have I done some stuff with girls? I ain't gonna front. I've done some things with girls, but I haven't crossed into the sex part. But the best way to understand the importance of sex is to understand that it was a gift from God. God gave us sex as a gift. Sex is only safe between a husband and a wife. That's the only place where sex is safe. Actually, sex is only safe between a man and a woman who are both submitted to God. Even if two people are married, sex becomes dangerous because if that man and woman still has lust, that person would try to <clears throat> leave the covenant to fulfill their need. But the main thing that you have to understand, you have to value you. You can't value your purity. You can't maintain it if you don't first value you. If you don't love you, man, you're going to give anybody access to your life, access to the most private areas of your life. For, for I mean, come on, man. Like, when you look at sex, when you look at pornography, when you look at anything that's lustful, let me first say this. Love has boundaries. Lust doesn't. Lust will take you places that you never intended to go. That's why I used to have a very uh, strong porn addiction when I was in um, middle school, high school, and even going into college. <clears throat> I wasn't a porn addict like I was over there just watching porn every day. But my excuse for watching porn was pornography was a stress reliever. I didn't realize how powerful lust is. I didn't realize how powerful, you know, interacting with something so minor in a lot of men's minds, a lot of women's minds as pornography would, would, would lead me into being a lustful person. Like, I was a guy that girls wanted advice from. 
And and I found out that this practice of pornography got me even more lustful when it came to women. It got me into a state of place where I wasn't protecting or valuing the, the, the purity of a woman or my own purity. And I tell people, be very careful what you engage in in life. Be very careful what you allow to touch you, who you allow to touch you. Don't. Not everybody deserves access to your personal space. Not everybody deserves access to your mental space, your moral space, or your muscle space. And I tell people, be very careful that you don't allow any and everybody into your life because soul ties are real. A lot of people are still soul tied to Jimmy, still soul tied to Susie, still soul tied to their first encounter. And people do not realize the importance of valuing that part of your life. The trick in the world is to get you so caught up in, well, I just want to be held or emotional, this emotional feeling that I'm having is keeping me from, you know, uh, uh, from wanting to be holy or set apart for God. But I tell you, when you do lustful things, and you start interacting lustfully with another person, you sin it against yourself. You're opening yourself up for demonic loopholes to get you addicted to pornography, addicted to the same sex, addicted to all these different things. And now you find yourself so deep in lust, you're doing things you never thought you'd do. If you want to be pure in this life, you're going to have to value you. You're going to have to say, you know what? I don't have to waste my time with someone that's not my husband or someone that's not my wife. I got to make sure I do what I have to do at this moment to say, God, I'm going to reserve myself for the one. And the reason why we don't reserve ourselves for the one is because we allow ourselves to be idle. We're not busy waiting on God. We're not busy serving him. You got to occupy that empty time in your life to ensure that you value yourself. And I understand it's cuffing season. I understand it's winter time. I understand girls are getting lonely and men are getting lonely. But you're going to have to maintain that lustful aspect of yourself because lust will take you places you never wanted to go. And I tell people this every single day, man. <clears throat> right now in my life, I don't have to worry about no baby mama. I don't have to worry about no kids. Got my last name out here. But man, I know how it is to be lonely, man. I know how it is. Not now, but I'm saying I know how it is to, you know, to fight those frustrations. But I'm telling you, man, those things right there, <clears throat> watching porn, sleeping around, man, you're hurting yourself, man. You're hurting yourself, man. And I tell guys, man, do not watch pornography. Treat these women like your sisters, man. And ladies, treat these brothers like your brothers, man. And say, you know what? Let's maintain our purity together. Now, is it easy? No. But is it worth it? Yes. And you have to get to a place in life where you say, you know what? I'm going to value me. I'm going to value my purity and I'm going to protect it. Protecting your purity means I got to do whatever it takes to ensure I don't fall into that sin. The best way to protect your purity is to see beyond the perversion, to see the sin as what it really is. Listen, man, we all know when you watch porn and when you're having sex, or when you do anything sexual, you only get temporarily hot. You only get a temporal satisfaction. And what happens is after you done fulfilled that act, after you done done those different things that are sexual, you feel empty afterwards. You know you feel empty. I felt empty. And what happens is if you feel it empty, it lets you know that that thing was not that thing that thing that you're partaking in will not fulfill you. Man, that void is still there. You're right, Eric. That void is still there. And only God can satisfy that empty hole. That's why in order for me not to become lustful now, because it's a daily walk for you, boy. I work at the YMCA. You see what I'm saying? I got to make sure that I stay intact. I stay focused. I stay fervent with, with God. I make sure, you know what, God, I'm going to do this for you. But the number one thing that kept me from sexual purity besides God is like, man, this thing may jack up my marriage one day. This thing will jack up my kids. You see what I'm saying? Like, whatever I'm practicing right now in my single life, single life I will perform my married life. People think that when they say I do... That once they say I do, oh, I ain't got to worry about watching porn no more. You know, I say I do, I ain't going to worry about sleeping around with you, girl. I ain't going to sleep around with nobody else but you, girl. But I do doesn't erase everything that's in your heart that you're allowed to still rot in there. You have to get to a place where you say, you know what, God, in my singleness, in my current state, in my marriage, wherever you are, you got to say, God, I'm going to pursue purity. I'm going to pursue purity because, God, I know for a fact I do not want to bring any baggage into someone else's life. You're still bringing four or five partners into your next relationship. You're bringing four or five girls, vic video vixens, and you're bringing them into your marriage. And you're wondering why. And I tell men, be very careful when you watch porn. Women, be very careful when you watch porn because you're going to be, you, you're going to be having sex with your wife, but you ain't going to be making love to your wife. It's a big difference because when you're watching pornography <clears throat> and you're watching the perversion of what the devil has presented sex to be, you're going to be actually sleep. You're going to be having sex with your wife, but not making love to her, having sex with your husband, but not making love to him. See, you got to put yourself in a position and say, you know, what, what is in me right now that will destroy 
my marriage, my life. But listen, man, every choice comes with a consequence. Every choice comes with a consequence. And all you ladies out there, you gentlemen out there, man, I understand, man. If you got a baby out of well, like I ain't here to judge you. I ain't trying to judge nobody who ain't no virgin. Look, man, I got to guard myself every day. You see what I'm saying? But what I do, what I can say is God has forgiven you. But you got to make sure you don't have habitual sin in your life that's keeping you from being pure, yo. <clears throat> Does God want you to be perfect? No, he wants you to be pure, man. Yeah, yo, listen, man. The number one type of sin that distances you from God is sexual sins. Because those sexual sins have emotional weight, mental weight physical weight you got to keep every aspect of your being pure and the best way to keep your body pure and your emotions pure and your mind pure is to make sure your spirit is in sync with god when your spirit is in sync with god you don't have to worry about thoughts coming into your mind making you sexual making you lustful you don't have to worry about your body being uh you know uh, uh trying to go after certain things you're right erica you got to protect your eye gate you got to protect your ear gate you got to make sure you put systems in place to ensure that you don't allow lustful things into your life. Now, will lustful thoughts cross your mind? No, that's what, but yes. But the Bible says you got to cast down vain imaginations. And every thought that uh, that puts itself against the authority of Christ, you got to cast it down. And many people don't know how to cast down vain imaginations. This is how you do it. <clears throat> it's hard to cast down a vain it's hard to cast down vain imaginations with an unrenewed mind. When your mind is not renewed, it's hard to cast down anything that's trying to enter newly into your mind. You're going to have to be in a place mentally where your mind is being constantly removed, renewed daily. In order for things to be removed, your mind has to be renewed. You have to put yourself in a place where you say, I'm mentally sharpening my mind. I'm mentally sharpening my mental state. I got to make sure that my mindset, wherever my mind is sitting, is not sitting in somewhere that's contrary to the will of God. I got to always make sure that I'm thoroughly examining my, my mental life by making sure it's engulfed with the word of God, that I'm out there reading God's word. I'm understanding what purity is. I'm understanding what holiness is. I'm understanding what, what living a life secure and living life secure, living life pure without the Holy Spirit. You ain't going to be able to do it. You got to mortify, shoot that flesh down every day. You also got to remove things outside, away from you. You got to remove, man. Man, if you got to get uh, Covenant Eyes, an app, a program that keeps you from watching pornography. If you got to go find accountability people to ensure that you don't do certain things. If you and your relationship, you and your woman, you and your man. <clears throat> if you got to make sure that, yo, we're not going to be at the house past 1030. When it gets dark, when <laughs> remember when you was a kid and those streetlights came on? And your mom said, come on to the house. You got to set some bounds. Hey, when them streetlights come on, we got to go. When them streetlights come on, we got to go. We got to get out of here. Because I'm telling you, man, in order to lead your woman, you cannot put your woman in a situation where both of you are compromised. You got to separate yourself from those different things. Thank you for that. You got to do whatever it takes to remain pure, man. And I ain't here to bash nobody. I ain't here to make nobody feel uncomfortable. I'm just saying, look, it's worth it. I don't care if you had sex yesterday. You can stop today. Only through Christ can you stop. But I'm telling you, man, you got to renew your mind and say, you know what? I'm not going to be that dude. I'm going to throw that pornography away. I'm going to do whatever it takes. Listen, <clears throat> if you had cancer in your body right now, you went to the doctor. Doc said, yo, bro, you got cancer. You're going to do whatever it takes to get that cancer out your body if you want to live. If you want to live and you want your marriage to live, you want your kids to live, if you want things to live beyond, if you want your legacy to be full of life, you're going to run. You're going to do whatever it takes to say, you know what, God, I'm doing this for my future what my future marriage. I'm doing this for my future sons. I'm doing this for to be an example, man. And is it going to be easy, man? It ain't going to be easy. But I'm telling you right now, if I can wait 30 years from having sex and if I can do all that kind of stuff, you can do too. Listen, do I want sex? You best believe I do. But I tell you, the consequence of sex outside of God's original plan is not worth it. It's not worth it. So <clears throat> the best way to maintain your sexual purity is number one, value you. Value you. See yourself the way God sees you. And I understand it gets lonely, man. I know it gets tough. But when you look at the beauty, man, when I look my wife in the eye and I say, girl, you know, I messed up in my life. But for these amount of years, I've been pure from pornography for my whole life. I saved myself. Imagine how beautiful that sex is going to be. Imagine how beautiful that love is going to be. And the right tie will be made. But I'm telling you right now, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> it's not worth it. It's not worth it, man. 
So I'm going to take some time to answer some questions. I feel like the Q&A portion would be most important so I can be able to answer some specific questions. Um, I hope I, I hope I said something that was powerful. I hope I inspired you. Um, I hope you didn't feel condemned. I just pray, Lord, that the Lord, you know, blesses you, enables you to do things the way that he wants you to. Man, we're not perfect, man. I've done some things I'm not that I'm not that I'm not proud of.